Good morning, friends. <laughs> I'm bringing you a really small um, wish haul, and I wanted to sh uh, do a walkthrough on my Memorex uh, card maker. I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness, my Memorex <laughs> card box. Okay, and this one seems to be a smaller one. Okay, I made this this one the other day. Is that so cute? Look at I made a pocket. Okay. So oh and I made this one too for Valentine's Day. Slips out. Fits in. Okay, so um these run different sizes, okay? Um from and styles. Um, I get them at a craft store. Um, they're fairly cheap, like a dollar. The bigger you go, the 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 higher the price goes. But um, how I did these, um, I bought these little. I don't even know what you call them, like little knobs, I guess, and wooden dolls. Um, all of this is actually napkin, and I have had decoupage so everything in here is wood um that was a butterfly piece of wood and uh what i did was i glued it on here with you could do it with tacky glue i did it with tacky glue or wood glue doesn't matter and um the any the any flaws the the napkin would cover it, so you're not going to see it. I don't do the bottom. I didn't do the bottom because um, who's going to look at the bottom? But you can. I mean, if you're, if you're one of those, you know, like me, sometimes I'm a perfectionist, but I do it with my junk journals and <laughs> not, not, not these sort of uh, crafts. But anyway, if you're wondering how I put this and how I lined it first, um, you have to consider the uh, the width of your box like these are I believe four 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 across so see how it wouldn't it wouldn't fit here so you would have to get definitely the um, uh, the right size I do however have the right size right here so this one is about four and a quarter I would say four and a quarter four and a quarter going this way and how I did that okay I'm not good at measuring and but what I did was I took my my um, it, I believe this is my how you swap um, roller decks oh, I'm gonna clean it what a dex punch and um i kind of started off with the basic basic um card so okay i got the exact measurement so this one is three by five eighth by four and a half okay so that's the actual width for this one um this one like you can see it's a little bigger so um, somewhere around here, I have the sizes. If you're interested in the sizes, just um, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, here I have different sizes. See it? I think I believe this is like the standard size. And I, these are just extras that I have there um, at hand when I want to uh, make one. But... Um, the one that we're going to be doing now is uh, three by by five eighths by three and five eighths by four and a half. It's morning for me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And how do I do it? I just kind of take the 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 cardstock, right? I mean, yeah. I cut it out. I punch it out, and then I use this as my template to guide where I put my dowels. So I usually like would put it against there and I would take a Sharpie and I would definitely um, mark it. And you have to consider too the, uh, 
the length from the height actually from the from I'm sorry I keep getting out of focus the height from the bottom and against the wall I mean how high do you want them to sit for me um, it's like maybe less than a quarter of an inch that I have space from the bar and the card but it works for me because they see they don't slide out okay so um yeah that's 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 basically how I did it now um, you could either um, decoupage it first and then insert the, the dowels or insert the dowels and decoupage um, I tried it both ways for me it was much easier me decoupaging first and then putting the poles in um, this was a quick one that I did and um, and you can even um, decoupage the sticks but that would be a little bit hard because I experimented that too and they would get caught here because it's not smooth so I would suggest painting it the, the dolls you know the color that uh, the, with the theme of whatever um, napkin you're holding I mean you're using um, so yeah so that's how you do it and the little feet I usually just use my 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 glue I, I use a mixture of tacky glue and Elmer's clear glue um, why because the tacky glue and I use this glue for everything especially my junk journals um, the tacky glue it, in itself is really gummy tacky and it's not forgiving you can't once you uh, put a piece of paper down or anything it's stuck and the almost white glue alone is just way too soft and it takes forever to grow uh, to um, to dry so I kind of did my own combination because I like both glues and I did my own combination I, I do have a videos um, below that you could probably go to and it'll show you just a little bit how I do it but um, I couldn't tell you whether it's two parts or three parts I kind of just kind of uh, mix it into like a milky like you just saw I'll show you I'll demonstrate see how I picked that up like a milky um, consistency see how forgiving it is but when this thing dries let me tell you it's really really solid you can't move it unless you're gonna rip it off with uh, pliers so but I I love it because like I said it's so forgiving you can pick up especially uh, when it comes to paper sometimes you make a mistake or it's not lined properly uh, like I'm a, I'm a perfectionist so um, ugh, I hate it <laughs> but yeah and you can pick it up uh, quickly so um, that works for me these um it depends what kind of dolls you want to use these just came in a pack but you can definitely um again it all depends how thick you want them to like these are really like thick see them um you can also get at the craft store in the wood department you can get the the single long ones and i usually use um clippers to to cut them and yeah and this is what you have I you can paint them I, I, I didn't paint or anything I just wanted to show you what they look like bare so and there's your Memorex Memorex box I like this because you can turn them into any type of theme versus buying them as is okay let's jump into the small haul that I have um, if I can yeah my working area is like such a mess um, this one's from Wish, and I don't remember. It takes so long, you know, that you don't remember what it is. Oh, okay. This is a, a, a set for, I guess, pimples and everything else. <laughs> I, I, I paid $2, a dollar and a dollar shipping, but um, let me get the... So, uh, this... There's two for pimples, blackheads. Um, I mean, I'm guessing that 
these are for teeth. I mean, I don't know. Unless you pop the pimple and then you use that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Why would they have that little... I'll have to go back in there. But yeah, you get three, four, five of them. I, I guess you'll have to disinfect it. And you know what? I can't even pull it out. Yeah, and... I guess you pop it in then, or I don't know. That kind of seems dangerous. Look, look how pointy that is. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Well, I just wanted to see what they look like. So I got those, and let's get rid of that. Um, quality detail description cable. Total value, $5. I don't know what this is. Cable? I sent for a cable. There's no cable in here. I'm not kidding. Look, it, it says cable. Can you see a cable? It's not cable. I can't get it out. These are charms. Oh, how tiny these are. They don't look that tiny on, on the picture. These are from Wish. They're pretty though, but they're like extremely, oh my goodness, they're like so tiny. I guess you can't go by what the picture says. Look how tiny those are. They're like a little piece of glitter. They're really tiny. The Let me see if the... Um, Oops, I can't pick it up. I can't even see the hole where you um, thread threaded. Well, they're pretty. I guess I won't be using them in my charms, probably to bling something else. They are pretty. They're really, aren't they like really shiny? They're like crystal looking. Anyway, sorry. I just went on. Uh, welcome, appreciate your business, and invite you to consider our products in the future. Okay. I don't know about that. Those are really tiny. You know what? They didn't even say the size that they were, so that was on me. Oh, I've been wait waiting for these, and check these out. I, I don't know. I think there's 50 of them in here, but I thought these were so cute. When you do swaps and you put the stuff in, isn't that cute? They're, they're little tiny baggies. It says from, from, from the kitchen of, from the kitchen of, of course, I would probably change that. But these are cute, aren't they? They're like the little perfect size. They might even be good for shakers, right? Little shakers or, but I thought they were cute for a dollar. You can't. I mean, dollar and a dollar shipping. So, but if I come up with something, I'll be sharing it with you. I thought they were cute. And in the picture, to be honest, I, I'm i I'm pleased because they're like a perfect size for me. But in the picture, they seem to be way bigger than this. They seem to be like a standard baggy size. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's... That was my haul. I'm expecting um, die die cutting die cutting plates. I thought for sure this was the one that I that I'm expecting. But anyway, um, that's my short haul and my walkthrough on my Memorex cards. Um, please subscribe. I'm doing um, a junk journal giveaway for February 9th. Um, please look for that video. Uh, below and um, comment on it if you want to be um, put in the drawing um, and subscribe and um, if you have any ideas or any comments let me know to improve my channel I'd be greatly appreciated it's for you it's not for me I just want to inspire those who come across my videos so until um, our next video see ya Bye. God bless.